The Junior Jamboree Scouts, we're collecting for the American Homeless Society. Could you please spare a donation? Why, of course, young man. Let me get you something. Okay. Your uniform seems a little tight. Oh, well, ma'am, uniforms are very expensive, and my mother says I'm growing like a weed, so we can't afford one now, but I'm hoping for one for my birthday. This was given to me on the day I met my husband. God rest his soul. It granted me a wish of happiness that lasted for 50 years. 50 years? I want to give it to your charity. And if I'm not mistaken, there may be a little bit of luck left in the old coin. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. There he is! Fred Egan, the court hereby appoints you to the supervisory care of Lake Leopard's camp for boys for a probationary 30... for a probationary 30 days, during which time, and pending the evaluation of the supervisor, this court will reevaluate your case to determine if more permanent facilities will be necessary. Wait a minute. You mean you sending me to camp for picking pockets? This is not a summer camp. This is a detention camp. You will not make birdhouses in woodshop. You will not learn archery. You will be under constant supervision the entire length of your stay. You will work with the parks department all your waking hours, and you will wish your school transcript looked less like a rap sheet. Now get him out of here. Uh, sir, uh, you know, hook it up, you know what I'm saying? Because your stuff is on. Ah. Get him out of here. Ooh. Go. Now, I want you all to know that even if I make this shot, it will in no way eradicate my memory of the abhorrent manner in which I was treated this past semester. Would you just shoot the ball? Yeah, God. <laughs> now, even if I make this shot, and tie the game. I'd still rather just shoot the ball. Yeah. Come on, ready? All right, boys, that's it. Blue team wins. Hit the shower. Hey, God. Maybe next year they'll allow girls in the school, and then we can trade Ferry for a better player. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's hit the shower. Let's go. Neanderthal, you'll wrinkle the linen. Perhaps the young master would care to assist me in the effort. Perhaps the old chauffeur would like to continue employment without contradicting his employer. Or does eating cat food in some social security hotel sound like a viable career option? Oh. Let's step on it. Yeah, I'd love nothing better myself, so. Where's my father? I believe he's left a message for you on the VCR, sir. And, sir, 
Yes. I would like to say with an absolute pleasure it's been working for you this semester, Master Egan. But I'd be lying through my teeth, you pestilent little pipsqueak. No use pouting, Frederick. There was no other choice. The new stadium's going up, and I have to oversee its construction. I'm really sorry about this, Sport, but it's only for a month. I'll be back before you know it. I'll make it up to you as soon as I can. Promise. Great. Another summer in the city with Mother and Uncle Frank. Uh, I'm not done yet. It seems your mother and her man of the month are on safari in Africa. I've made arrangements for you at the Enclave summer camp for the month. You'll love it there. Your clothes and belongings have been sent ahead. Many are the summers I spent on the golden shores of that lake. Senators, presidents, even royalty send their children there. It will be an experience of a lifetime. Okay, turn that thing off. Thanks again, Pop. That Egan kid's not here yet. Real wise guy, they say. <laughs> That's what they all say till they meet me. This is pathetic. I, I can do it myself. <clears throat> As you wish, sir. Frederick Egan, box number one. You hear me? Joe Murphy from the county's juvenile center. I'm dropping Fred Egan off the transport. Egan? Yeah, Fred Egan. And could you hurry? I'm in kind of a rush. Here we go. Fred Egan. Bus 7. Uh, pulls out in five minutes. Listen, I, I got to get back to the city for a court appearance, and I'm late enough as it is. Can you keep an eye on him till it pulls out? It's really not my job. He'll be the first one on the bus. Enjoy your summer, Freddy. He's not dangerous, is he? Only to society. We give these to the corrections officer when he comes. Hello? All right. <laughs> yeah. I put him on the bus. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm Frederick Egan the third. You're Fred Egan? The third. Whoopi, we've been waiting 20 minutes for you. Get on the bus. This is my bus? No, pal, this is my bus, but you've earned the pleasure of riding on it. Now get on it. <laughs> this must be a mistake. I, I don't think so. Let's go.
Knew this was too good to be true. What are you doing? Why ain't you gonna frisk me? Not in your life. <laughs> Look, I'm Fred Egan. Now, I didn't believe it myself, but they said I was supposed to be on this bus. Yeah, right. And I'm Wilma Flintstone. We'll just see about that, kid. Five, six, seven? Of course, Frederick Egan. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm sorry, I just didn't expect for you to be so... Well, uh, did I happen to tell you how much I love your outfit? Gangster Chic is the newest rave at West Bev Prep. Oh, yeah? Well, gangster neighbors are all the rage in my neck of the hood. <laughs> sorry? I'm sorry, did you say something? Oh, I'm Peggy Kennedy. Very nice to meet you. I'm the head cheer counselor and president of the Social Action Committee. If you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Right on. Right on. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey! I'm talking to you, girl. What's up? I am not one of your wretched delinquents, okay? I do not belong on this bus with these Neanderthaloid vapid wastes of humanity. You don't want to rustle my feathers, son. Sit. Well, well, well. I see we have a few return visitors. Nice boy. Good axe murderer. Egan! Egan! No! 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 Hey, uh, where is this thing off to anyway? Yeah. We're going to the Enclave. As in the best summer camp that money can buy for twice the price. Oh, delightful. Nothing but the best for old Freddy. That's what my dad always says. Really? Oh, snap! Haven't we met? Gaston, Paris, Rome. Oh, I've seen you somewhere before, girl. In your dreams? Hey, back off, girl. Hey, is uh anybody sitting here? Yes, me. Look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but get lost and take your pretentious load of bull with you. Hey, what's up, you girl? Better recognize. Fast, what are you talking to? It's all good. All good up in here. Who's that? I don't know. Want me to check him out? I don't know. I'll take care of this one. Hey, Mac, how you doing? anything wrong. In one way or another, we're all guilty. Hello. Have a cheery stay. Hello. Miss Sykes, just let me tell you how absolutely happy I am we'll be working together. I have some Fabulous plans for this summer. You won't have to lift a finger. Here, let me take those hospitality packets. A woman of your position should have to... these. But I'm sure that Chef Jimmy could use some assistance. Why don't you go check it out? Chef Jimmy? Mm -hmm. If you think that's best. Oh, I'm positive. A cheery hello to you. Hello, hello. They certainly improved the quality of the help this summer. Yeah, let me get those for you, Chief. So, uh, what do you say? You want to start the summer off with a little fireworks? Oh, I don't know. Want to start the summer off in a body cast? <laughs> <laughs> I got her right where I want her. Don't worry about a thing. A cheery hello to you. Hey, welcome. I, uh, I hate to break the move, but is Fred Egan really on that list? Oh, of course it is. We've been expecting you. Here you go, Frederick. Call me Freddy. Fast Freddy. And you may call me Ms. Sykes, young Frederick. I'm the head administrator of this camp. I've read an awful lot about your father. Quite an impressive man. What'd you check his rap sheet? 
I beg your pardon? What room am I in? Oh! <laughs> ah, you'll be staying in the Reagan suite. Ah, very good. <laughs> well, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. A cheery hello to you. Oh, snap! Oh! Dang! Hey! Rogers? What's up? Check it out. I need uh, a gallon of chocolate ice cream, please, and some orange soda. Also, I would take some barbecue chips, some spicy cheese snaps, and also hook me up with a Chicago-style pizza, please. Sorry, no junk food. Say what? Rule, sir. <laughs> but just hook me up with whatever you got, without granola in it. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Ladies, he's heir to the Egan fortune. Strictly top ten. In the country? In the world. Hey, yo, man. Somebody's in here? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. You're... Uh, Freddie Egan. Join us. Freddie Egan. That's Modem. You can call me Todd. Hey, what's up, guys? Will this do, sir? Get out of here. We certainly could use a little color around here. I'm referring to your style, of course. Your skin color hardly alienates you from this camp. Or this table. Wouldn't matter if you were purple. As long as your parents could come up with the green. <laughs> now, let's see what we have here. Freddie Egan. I said two bags. <laughs> Goodness there, boy. You got some sweet tooth going. Are you kidding? That's just for trading. There's no sugar allowed on the premises. So why are they giving it up to you? Let's say they just like doing things for me. You laying the muscle on them or what? Violence? Hardly. What are you doing? Background check. I like to see who's mingling with who around here. Now, <laughs> Red Egan Jr., the third, the fourth. Oh, me. Oh, uh, I'm an original. Here we go. Father, Frederick Egan Jr., President, CEO, and Chief Financial Officer of Egan Consolidated Worldwide. Current member of the Trilateral Commission. Net worth estimated at seven billion. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sheesh. Think I'm due a little back and lounge from old Popster. You know what? I'd love to chat more about old Pops, but I got a jet, buddy. Here it comes. You know something, girl? I couldn't help but notice the way you were looking at me when I first came in that door. What's up with that? And then you woke up? Are you always this nasty girl, or did someone just cancel your gold card? I'm not your girl, and let's keep it that way. Way to go, Freddy. Got some way with the ladies, kid. <laughs> and what do you know anyway, Chef Boyardee? I know enough to see that you belong here as much as a gator in a duck pond. <laughs> that might. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, 
I want a full report on that uh, tomorrow, 0800 hours. Yeah, yeah, keep up the good work, man. You. Me. Again. And again, and again, and again. Now, you listen and listen good. As long as you're at my camp, I am your judge, I am your jury, and I am your executioner. Look, I really wish I cared what pearls of wisdom are about to roll forth from that plebeian brain of yours, but you have got to listen to me. Hold it right there, you little delinquent. I'm not a delinquent. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Quiet! Kid, I think what we've got here is a failure to communicate. Aren't I given at least one phone call? Phone calls are made on Wednesdays. That's tomorrow. I want to use the phone immediately. Wednesday. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Do you think I got to this position by taking lip from punks like you? No. I thought it was your charming demeanor. That's it. You're out of here. Get Egan to Stalag 13 now. Welcome to our nightmare. Figures, you've been here before. You got that right. Call me numbers. Three to one says you can't guess why. Ten to one says I don't give a rat's butt. This is Hacksaw. Yeah, we met. I was the first one in my family to stand upright. Really? Your parents must be very proud. This is your bed over here. That's disgusting. That's home. For you, maybe. But don't get used to me hanging around your little slime motel here. I'm out of here, pal. Going over the wall, huh? No. You cretin, I will be leaving by limo. <laughs> what is that? That's Ferret. He doesn't like people much. He loves bats, though. <laughs> No, I don't think he should be any trouble at all. He's nuts. What was your first clue? You know, there's a word for people like you where I come from. Scum. Oh, yeah? But well, we have a word for people around here like you. And it's called dead. What you think you're doing? What? I'm taking out the trash. Right. Stealing from the only people who've offered you a decent meal in probably months? That's smart. Look, I told you, old man. And you're a liar, too. Oh, yo, when my father hears what you just called me. If your me. daddy was half the man you pretend he is, you wouldn't be in the mess you in today. But don't fool yourself. I don't care, kid. I'm just doing my job. Okay, Pops, how did you know? I know the streets. I was raised out of myself. You're supposed to be able to the work camp, ain't you? Hey, look, all I know is that somebody called my name, I hop on a bus, and whammo, I'm here. There ain't no crime in that. No, they ain't. Look, man, what do you want from me? From you? Nothing. What do you want? <laughs> well, for you to stay out of my face. Are we playing make me laugh here? Get back to work. You must be out of your mind. I said work. I said no. <laughs> work. Frederick, sorry I can't spend the summer with you. 
Daddy told me where he sent you, and I couldn't be happier. Uncle Frank and I are in Africa. Hmm. If you need anything, just charge it. Hmm. I'll do my best to pick you up at the end of the summer. Hugs and kisses, Mobsy. No. Charge. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to make a special delivery to Miss Christine Olsen. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Christine Olsen. A case of very expensive caviar. Nothing but the best. <laughs> I think it'd be a safe bet to substantially raise the stakes in this year's little endeavor. Hoops out there actually grew three inches from last summer. What about the new kid? Mr. Egan just may be the additional insurance we need for our little plant. What town did you say you were from? Scrubville? Yo, you had mad ups out there, homie. What's your name? His name's Hoops. You're telling me. He's not too comfortable with talking yet. Well, if he shoots like that, he doesn't have to. <laughs> ah, Christine. Will you stop with the presents already? I get it. Your father's credit card loves me. <laughs> hey, it was the thought. Well, then think of something else. Yo, girl, why are you always ragging on me? I'm not ragging on you, Frederick. I'm just not interested in a flashy, quick-talking flyboy. Now, I am sure that there are plenty of girls who would love to go out with a worldly and wealthy guy like you. I don't know of any, but I'm sure there must be one. <coughs> Chris, wait! If I may have a moment of your time, Frederick. <laughs> Call me Freddy, and you can catch me later. I don't think so. You see, I need to speak with you now. You're a pretty good ball player. I like to extend an invitation for you to join our little team. Oh, well, I'm just playing for fun here. And besides, my dad wouldn't really approve of such a vulgar use of my spare time. You don't seem to understand. Motom here is asking you to play basketball for us in the game against the detention camp guys. No, you don't understand. You see, I have other points to score this summer. Don't make me get ugly, okay? <laughs> You wouldn't need my help. I think I would. <laughs> Bye now. Get out of my face. We'll get him. Attention, ladies. Sign up today for the annual basketball game against the Richie Rich Kids. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Dad? Son. Get me those Linkoff stats ASAP. I've got a plane to catch. Great to hear from you, laddie. Hold all my calls. If Tomlinson calls, put her through. talking huge mistake made down here. And I suggest that you extract me from this nightmare immediately. Sounds wonderful. If I don't get 14,000 by noon, tell them the deal is off. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, son, I'm right here. Listen, Frederick, it's been great talking to you. I'll be back in the States by the end of the month. Call me. Bye-bye. Tickets, Mr. Egan. No, don't you dare. Hello? Hello? How's daddy? <laughs> I've got to try him again. I forgot to leave my number. Don't you think he's got your number, Egan? I have to call him back. You can call him next Wednesday. Bon appetit. Well. At least you found some use for this stuff. We don't disturb the artist when the artist is working! Disturb? You? No. Okay, guys. I want in. In where? The tunnel. Tunnel? <laughs> Come on. Don't take me for a chump here. Why not? Look, I've seen the movies. I know the score. You guys are trying to tell me that you're not planning a break. 
Freddy, we're not planning a break. There are 1,300 correctional facilities in the country, local and federal. With a population well over 900,000, there have only been 17 successful escapes. That's less than 1%. Now, those are not my kind of numbers. Look, I got to get out of here, and the local goons are of little assistance, OK? Now, my father always told me that if you can't beat them, buy them. So name your price. OK, Freddy, you're on to us. I can't hold out on you any longer. We're breaking out of the joint. But are you sure you really want in? Shall I write you a check? I'll tell you when we're leaving, Fred. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I knew it. I had the most horrible dream. I was working. <laughs> Wake up, Lister boy. What time is it? 6 a.m. My God, will this waking nightmare never end? Smart money's just pretty boy passes out before lunch. Why doesn't Batman have to get up? The counselors are usually so happy that he didn't slit our throats during the night, they let him sleep later. Let's go. I'm living large like Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm bad. <laughs> Gay. Oh, I got a <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, girl, I saw you checking me out earlier today. Haven't I scraped you off my shoes yet? Yo, why don't you just give me a chance? For what? Just to go to the dance with me Friday night. Why, is Madonna busy? You need to quit tripping, girl. Leave me alone. I'd like to have a word with you, Frederick. What's up, man? I'm sorry we couldn't come to a more amicable agreement about your participation in our little game. No harm done, though. I'm more than sure that hoops can handle things on the courts. <laughs> well, that's just lovely for you now, isn't it? We need to discuss who's in charge. Look, man, you're beginning to bore me big time. What do you want? If I don't have my two poached eggs on sourdough toast every day before the Dow Jones hour, Fred Egan from the South Side, I'll personally make sure that this rap sheet makes it to the administrator's desk. Dig, homeboy. Look, let me tell you something, man. I ain't got to do nothing for you. Oh, I think you will. Unless you want Christine to know what a low-life delinquent you really are. What are you doing in my kitchen? Poaching eggs. Get out of there! You don't understand. It's from Modem the Merciless. I owe him. You don't owe him nothing. Well, I do. He knows. I need your help. I thought you wanted me out of your face. Well, at first, but then I figured, well, if you hadn't read it on me yet, you must be an all right brother. Man, I got a sister in Georgia and three brothers in Jersey. You ain't my brother. <laughs> so how come you want my help so bad now? To get Chris. Oh. De Gaia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christine Olsen would eat you up and spit you out like bad jerky before you even asked her out. Well, she has. You and every other Don Juan that's been asking her out ever since she'd been at this camp. She's not like one of them girls off the street you just came from. You got to handle this a whole lot differently. You're gonna have to be a gentleman. Treat her with respect. Be honest with her. Be honest with it, yeah. That's a good one. But check out this. If I don't get these eggs out to Modem like now, I'm out of here. Hey, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, he got nothing on you. If he rats you out, you are out of here. Then he wouldn't have you to push around anymore. Yeah, but he'll tell Chris, and she never liked me if... If she knew who you really were? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't get it. Todd. I'm gonna get her a basketball game listed on the Vegas Gambling Tote Board. 
Well, how are you gonna get a camp game on the Vegas sports book? Just about hacked into their mainframe. Not nearly as tough as those Pearl Jam tickets we scored. Come on, baby. Don't let me down now. Yes! We're in. Gentlemen, place your bets. That was a million sound. Maybe two. Son? Dad, are you there? Daddy, it's me. Son? Son, this phone's trying to electrocute me. Best money can buy still sounds like you're in another state. That's right, you are in another state. <laughs> Look, Father, I don't know what kind of experience you intended for me to have here, but I suggest <laughs> you extract me from this nightmare immediately. Ow! Ow! Come on, son. Hasn't this charade gone on long enough? We have an 89% success ratio if we take this hole by 2 a.m. How do you know all this stuff? That's when the new guards come on and wake up the old guards. Hacksaw? Me and Hacksaw have been working on this baby for days. We hit an old drainage pipe and we can't get at the bolts. You see, Hacksaw's too big and I have claustrophobia. We think you are man for the job. What do you say? Get out of my way. I'll be back in silk before you know it. How far are we from the fence? Once you get through the pipe, you'll be out in a flash. The wrench? Let's go. very happy about this. And you can bet, if I'm not very happy about this, you and you two are not gonna be very happy about this either! boys wanted to get out so bad. Well, now you're out. <laughs> so enjoy it. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, my dad bought Shaquille O'Neal his first pair of high tops. Maybe we can get him to touch us for our basketball game. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. I'll ring him up pronto. It it's all good. <laughs> Hey, look, so it's Dorsh from Camp Fear. Hey, bus driver, hold up a second. Hey, guys, how's it going? Sure is hot, huh? Man, we sweat now. It sure is. Yeah, well, uh, have a nice day. Hey, we got something for you. Uh, uh oh, you guys want to cool off? What about Hacksaw? I'm pretty thirsty. <laughs> Be wary, the eyes the more. <laughs> Where are the ice boards? No. <laughs> 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 
Slow life's gotta stick together. A cheery hello, campers. Don't forget basketball practice. And Oops. <laughs> Hey, to what do I owe this honor? Please don't ruin the moment, Frederick. It might be best if you let me do the talking for a change. I liked what you said to those jerks in the bus. It was thoughtful. I really didn't think you had it in you. Well, I'm full of surprises, girl. I mean, Chris. I'll bet. Yeah. I'd like to give you another chance to brush me off again. Do you want to go to the dance with me? Sure. Say what? You're not the only one who's full of surprises. <laughs> now, I don't have to tell you gentlemen that jerks like that have been dumping their garbage on us for most of our lives. However, I, I just did, didn't I? Well, anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is tough times don't last. Tough people do. Precisely. <laughs> How'd you know that? Yes, well, anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is that you're all good boys, mostly. And you deserve a lot better than that. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. Wow, uh, to you, too. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hang on a second, hang on. Dismiss! Go on, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, well, <I'm, laughs> oh, Snooky, I'm, yeah, I'm dropping a phone. Snooky, it's a girl. Waldron's got a girlfriend. Hey, hey, you little hoodlums, I said dismiss. I take back everything I ever said about any of you. Go on, get out. I uh, think Snooky and Pookie want to be alone for a while. <laughs> out, out. What have I gotten myself into? What was I thinking? I'm never going to be able to pull this off. How you make it through the day without my help, I'll never know. I mean, she said yes. Yeah, I heard you the first 20 times. I've got to be suave and refined. <laughs> Freddie, you'll never be anything until you be yourself. Is that what they really believe on the planet you're from, Jimmy? Like, you got to help me, man. Hey, i got to serve dinner that night. I don't have time to be playing fairy godfather. <laughs> I thought we were homies. Is that what they believe on the planet you come from? <laughs> Where's my dinner? Egan. If it was up your... I'll bring it right up. Did you say something to me? Cook. In a second, I'll be right there, Moto. Okay? You better be. Why you let him get away with that? I have no other choice. We all got choices. That's what it's all about. But if you let him treat you like you second class, then you are second class. Boy. Who is it? It's Fred. Get out of here. It's about time, Frederick.
Right there, please. Thanks. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, I will, and, uh, see ya. That'd be all. The door's right there. That was a mistake. This is disgusting. Get it out of here, will you? Yeah, the White House, the president. Daddy took us everywhere. Do you miss him? I talk about him a lot. Who, the president? Your father. Oh, well, I don't see him very much. Me either. Seems like he's always too busy with his agendas. You know, a lot of people see all this money as a blessing, but it's not. Most of the jerks here can't see past their parents' bank accounts to see what really matters. Yeah, I know I can live without it. Me too. And really have fun, play kickball, and shoot hoops all day. Eat cookie dough frozen yogurt and not have to worry how everyone thinks you should behave. Could you give it all up, Frederick? Could you? Mother Goose, snake is in the grass. Mother Goose, Huck Finn is on the raft. Dance some more. What to this? I know, but it's the only music Peggy will play. Hold on, I got a present for you. I'd like to give you something. Frederick. Hold on, Chris. This wasn't bought with a credit card. It's all me. Something I've been working on. Attention, Girl Scouts. That is lights out. Did somebody cover Paris? shut and you won't get hurt, okay? You're Frederick Egan III, only son of Frederick Egan Jr., heir to Egan Consolidated Worldwide. There's a party going on across the lake and someone I want to introduce you to. Who? Evil twin, Frederick Egan. Another Fred Egan, I knew it. Let's go. Wait. Let me get some of my friends first. Hurry up. Peggy, thank God I found you. You know what? Someone has just bite the punch. Terrific. Just terrific. I try to have some fun and some kid always has to spike the punch. Take care, girl. Ease up. It's all right. Easy on the eggs, hoops. Yo, what's up, people? Uh, I hate to ruin the funeral and everything, but I thought this party could do with a little loudness, so uh, here we go. Hey, yo, man, could you turn the lights and hit me with that center spot? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need no money, baby. It's not what I want. I don't need the fame to get along. Some little fortune, maybe. That's just not me. Tell you the truth now, baby. Mother Goose, your ducks are in a row.
Virginia. Victoria. Ah, oh, Snooky. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see you. It's been such a long week over there with him. Mm. Campers, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? It is with great pride and deepest satisfaction that I present to you Frederick Egan III. You're Fred Egan. Hey, they're at the Freddy. Wait, you jerk, I am Freddy. Get him, come on! Bill, your hoodlums are destroying my van. I am so sorry, Snooky. Get them off the premises at once! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Numbers, numbers, you hacksaw. Let's go, get out of here. Let's go, Wait, Egan. No. Wait, listen, dimwit, he's the one you want. What, do you have to take a moron test to get this job, or what? Get out of here. Uh, go! Hoops. Hoops, are you okay? Well? The nurse says food poisoning. The deviled eggs did him in. What? Wait a minute. Then everyone who had the eggs would be sick. No one else was taken ill. That's just it. No one else had any. He polished off the whole tray by himself. He'll be out of commission for two weeks. But we need him to play the basketball game. I'm afraid not. He can't even stand without vomiting. This sure puts a dark spin on my plans. What are we going to do without hoops? We smeared, and you know what that means. I know. You're right. What about Frederick? Oh. The answer to our problems. Along with my high-tech, shall I say, dirty trick. Frederick! Could we see you for a moment? What's up, fellas? We thought it'd be a wonderful idea if you'd be our new point man and coach ambassadors. Say what? <laughs> I already told you guys, I'm not playing. Oh, come on, Freddy, with your dad's experience with the NBA? Or maybe you'd like us to play show and tell with your little girlfriend. About that one, buddy. What can I say? I'm your man. This basketball game gives us an opportunity once again to prove to everybody just what fine young gentlemen all of you are. A sporting event where we can solve our differences with civility and dignity, face to face, head to head, man to man. A moral challenge. Yeah, and I'm sure that the $1,500 bonus the Parks Department offers to the winner's camp didn't even enter your mind. <laughs> uh, money, money is involved here, yes. <clears throat> That's true. But let's go out there and let's show these guys what we are made of! That's it. That's nothing. It's just time to play nice with the little people again. It's just another chance for them to humiliate us. Well, I ain't doing it. Oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, I did not anticipate having to turn to bribery. However, every man who does participate in this game will receive a workload reduction in order to practice. On second thought, warm up. Or anything, but we just wanted to get off of work with there. We don't want to win anything. They're better than us at everything. 
They got the bucks for coaches, trainers. Why even bother, man? Oh, come on, guys. How long are you gonna let them dump their garbage on us? This is our chance to throw it right back at them. We're gonna smear them. Look, you said you've been a bench warmer all your life. I personally could do without more humiliation. Hey, I may have sat in a lot of benches, but I got to watch a lot of basketball. I'll coach us. Wouldn't you like to show those jerks you're not losers? Not what they think you are? What they think we are. Right. What they think we are. Let's show them how we play ball. And not only are we gonna win, we're gonna take that Freddie Egan down. I'll be at the Newchester Academy in September. It's right outside the city. I could visit you and your family, maybe for Thanksgiving. No, uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, sure. I understand. It was just a thought. Chris! I imagined that I'd hardly be what they expected anyway. <laughs> Are you kidding? They're dying to meet you. They can't wait to meet you. I mean, I've been telling them all about you. You were? Yeah! You know, for one of the craziest boys I've ever met, you're also one of the nicest and most sincere. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, all right. What's up, Miss Sykes? My what? Well, why is he bringing it now? Okay, I gotta go. All right, all right bye. Frederick? Egan. Your mother was concerned you might catch a chill, sir. I brought your cashmere comfort, sir. And? And uh, nothing, sir. All right, then. Well, homie, you're going to have to jet, because uh, you're letting all this steam out, OK? What on earth have you been reading this summer? Well, <clears throat> I've done my penance. See you in a few weeks, sir. Come on, I got it. I got it. Come on, everybody's hogging the ball. Nobody's passing. You guys ever hear teamwork? Come on, Don't take this the wrong way. But you guys suck. Look, Ferret, I don't care if you slit my throat, boil my entrails, or suffocate me in my sleep. If you're not going to help us, then shut your mouth. Because I'm trying to do something out here, and you're driving me crazy. Boil your entrails? Is that something I should be looking into? Is that something I should try? I'm just saying, Ferret, that instead of criticizing us, why don't you try helping us out? We really need you. Don't we, guys? Don't, don't we need him? Come on, guys. We're in this together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. We need you. Yeah, come yeah, on, man. got a good outside yeah. shot. Yeah. You need me? Of course we do. Okay, if Mr. Parasol doesn't mind. Where do we start, coach? All right. Let's, Let's do it. Let's work on that one again. All right, go. Take it right. out. Look out. Look out. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Man, y'all shoot like a bunch of grandmothers. Oh, the 
to be honest with you, we never got to shoot much before. Our basic strategy was always to pass it to hoops. Man, I thought y'all was supposed to be good or something. You know, gonna show them work camp guys a thing or two about basketball. Hey, well, we might not be good at basketball, but, uh... You should look good. Oh, no, no, no. See, anybody can look good. You know, I can look good. But lucky for y'all, you know, I got the skills. You know what I'm saying? I got the skills to pay the bills. See, everybody can't be Jordan. You know, because I'm the next Jordan. You know what I'm saying? So, watch how I shoot the shot. Now, I got skills. Just like what Tim Hardaway said, I got skills. Check it out. Check it out. Here you go. See that? I got skills. All right? Now, if you want skills like me, okay, Fast Freddy, you got to hook it up. Bingo, a magnetic basketball. If Waldron catches you, you'll never get to play. Needed more practice. There's not enough time left in the world. The game's tomorrow. Come on. Okay, you're just gonna get the movement down at the soles of your feet, and you're just gonna drive it right here through your calves, right here through your legs, right here through your stomach and chest, and then just when it has no other place to go, the energy has no other place to go, it just explodes from your arm. Swish, you try. Don't choke. <laughs> Why are you doing this for me? Because you needed me. I mean, nobody ever needed me before. I know what happened to numbers and hacksaw, but what are you in here for? There was no other place for me. You're an orphan? In a fairy tale sense, I guess, but I mean, my parents aren't dead. They just left me in like a garbage dumpster when I was born. I guess we're not too different after all. Really, Frederick Egan, the one, two, third? I mean, I've been dumped off on other people since the day I was born. Boarding schools, tutors, lessons. I wasn't left in a garbage heap, but They've been dumping me, nonetheless. So once I got too old for the homes, I decided to run into myself. And you've been talking to toothbrushes ever since. Have you ever tried it? They say the darndest things. and tell you how proud I am of what you did for the team. Oh, well, they really weren't that bad to begin with. Yeah, but you gave them the moves. You worked it out of them, brought them together. You're a very special guy. Hey, Chris, I gotta tell you something. It's real important. So say it. Not tonight. Tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, take care, okay? Yeah. All right, peace out. I'm totally losing it, Jimmy. I mean, I didn't know what I was thinking in the first place. I mean, I can't be Frederick Egan III. I can't be what Chris wants, what the team thinks I am. I can't believe I listened to you. Hold it right there, kid. If you think I taught you to lie, then I taught you nothing. 
I never told you to be anything except for exactly what you were. What, a street hustling con man? Now, Freddie. Well, that's what I am. Well, then change who you are, man. You gotta keep growing and learning. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. That's why most of us never change. But I'm telling you, pain makes gain, and I am telling you it's gonna be well worth it. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you know about change? Hey, I know that you and I didn't grow up that different. Let me tell you something. In my neighborhood, I was the biggest kid on the block, so I thought that made me the baddest, too. Well, I was nothing but a stupid little street punk. Well, you know something? I'm not stupid. Of course you're not. That's my point. You aren't. And you could be somebody, somebody special if you would just try. Nobody can do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Christine doesn't like Frederick Egan III. She likes you. The boys on the team don't even know Frederick Egan III. Here's a little hint, old man. They don't know me either. And tell them the truth. What, that modem blackmailed me into this whole charade? Wait a minute, this is not about modem. This was never about modem, my friend. This is about you. Oh, yeah? Well, when I go down, he's coming with me. Okay, Freddy. Turn this into a revenge thing and show everybody what a big creep modem is. Go ahead. But they already know that. Or you could tell them the truth about who you are and about what you feel. Now, you got two choices here. But which one's gonna make you the better man? Happily ever after is for chumps. It's not my gig, man. It's not my gig, man. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please head right over to the gym. The game will start in 15 minutes. Junior is here to see you. Oh, well, send him right in. <laughs> You're Fred's father? Fred Egan, Junior. A pleasure to finally meet you in person, Miss Sykes. Yes. I know camp's about over, and I thought I'd surprise my son. Well, you certainly are a surprise. <laughs> Same could be said about you, Miss Sykes. Shall we go to the gymnasium? Our basketball game's about to begin. Sounds great. Livy! Freddy, you pig! It could have been my pleasure to introduce you to Olivia, but it's not. Pardon? I'm sorry. You certainly are. This is Frederick's mother. Mother? Mother. But you're your... Olivia Sellers. Ah, you're his adoptive parents. Certainly not. Now, where's my son? Where's Chuck? Chuck? Frank. Frank. Who's Frank? I left him on safari. I cannot appreciate a man who cannot appreciate me. I remember. But enough about us. Where is Frederick? He's in a basketball game. We were just going to see him. Basketball? My baby playing sports? My God, he's so delicate. Delicate? What are we waiting for? Miss Sykes, we're going to be late. Christine, I'd like you to meet Frederick's parents. You're his parents? Naturally. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Frederick's told me a lot about you, but not everything, I think. Could you excuse me, please? Hi, mister. I can't wait for you to meet my parents. I just did. My parents are here? Not that it has any bearing on things, but why didn't you tell me they were white? Or didn't you ever plan on me meeting them? Anything else you're keeping from me? Just about everything. 
If you can't trust me with the truth, then I guess you're not the boy I thought you were. Chris, I'm not. There's something I gotta tell you. What's the deal? Look, I'm not Frederick Egan the Third. I'm plain old Freddie Egan. Born and raised on the streets of the South Side. Look, I said a lot of things to you guys, but most of them were lies. I don't know Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, the closest I ever came to a pro basketball game was watching it in, in a television storefront window. Oh. My parents aren't globe-trotter millionaires. And truthfully, I don't even know who they are. Oh. I mean, I'm just a kid from the wrong side of the streets who got on the wrong bus one day. I'm a liar. And you guys were nothing but honest with me. I don't deserve to be on this team. You guys aren't the scum. I'm the scum. And the only honest thing I said was that this was the best summer that I ever had. Well, unless y'all want to call the cops, I'm out of here. It wasn't your money we liked. It was you. And it takes a lot of courage and self-respect to tell the truth. Do we want Frederick, I mean Freddie, to stay? Do we? Yeah. Let's go. We got a game. Can't do without you, man. Some of these boys can be pretty dangerous. So can I. Frederick! Snooky! Bill! Uh, Bill, not here. Oh. I have something to tell you. Uh, not now, Snooky. Got a game, gotta go. Great perfume. Bill! My baby! What has your father done to you? Mama's here now. Don't worry. We'll take good care of your baby. Ah! Frederick, what on earth are you doing with this riffraff? They're not. Riff raff, mother, they're my friends. You are coming with me this instant, back to where you belong. Hey, I belong with my friends. They were there for me when I needed them, and even when I didn't. That's more than I can say for you and Uncle Chuck. Frank, ever. Look, I'd love it if you guys wanted to come watch me play, but I won't be surprised if you've got something more pressing to do. Well, Fred, what do you have to say for your son now? Good luck, son. <gasps> Olivia, let's go in. Fred! Thinking, man. 30 to 1 since we're shut out at halftime. Come on, guys. Whatever happened to the detention camp delinquents who wanted to win this game? Well, they're back at the camp. Yeah. And whatever happened to the little rich kid who just wanted to kick the other Fred's butt? I don't know. I guess he's back at the camp, too. But we're here now, and we can win this. Look at them. They've got everything. And we're just a bunch of... Yeah. What, losers? If you believe that, then they've already won. We've come too far to be losers, guys. That comes easy from you, Frederick Big Bucks the Third. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you are a bunch of losers. Yeah, a bunch of big time losers. I'm not a loser, and neither are these guys. Ain't that right, numbers? Aren't you gonna answer the man? Me, Eve. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. Let's go 
get him. Come on. Let's kill him. Oh, kill that guy. I'm gonna kill him. You get that guy. There. Yeah. You. Fred Egan, good to see you again. What's up, Fred? Enjoying your summer? Yeah. Good. Because it's going to end right now. Game ball, please. There you go, guys. And, uh, may the best Fred win. What are you doing? Nothing, Cook. How do you think the camper's parents would feel if they found out that their beloved chef is an ex-prison cook? How do you think your parents would feel if I pulled your tonsils out through your armpits? What's this? The spare ball, maybe? Let's just see about this spare ball. <laughs> Thank you. 
you rigged it so no matter how the detention camp kids played, they'd lose and you'd win. <laughs> you figured all that out on your own? All right, that's it. Listen to me. I gotta tell you something. Just listen to me, okay? You can't finish out this game. Man, get out of here. Just listen. Modem has been cheating all along. He's been rigging the basketball so that their shots would stay out and ours would go in. <sighs> I knew I was good, but not that good. Well, how did Modem do? I'll explain that later. The important thing now is this second half has got to balance out Modem's cheating in the first half. That means that you by warming the bench. But we're winning, and if I sit out, we'll probably lose. It's not about winning, Freddy. It's how you play the game that counts. I know that sounds old-fashioned, but have I ever steered you wrong yet? I suppose I have two choices here, too, don't I? You always do. What do you want? Look, I know there's been some bad blood between us, but I want you to know that I'm trying to make it right, okay? So, be the better team win. Yo, Timmy, get in for me, man. I've got a lot to learn from you. gonna get the movement down at the soles of your feet and you're just gonna drive it right here through your calves, right here through your legs, right here through your stomach and chest, and then just when it has no other place to go, the energy has no other place to go, it just explodes from your arms.
I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. About working this summer. It's OK. You're here now. Let's work on that. I want you to meet some of my friends. Numbers, Ferret, Axel, my mom and dad. Right. Good game. Right. Jimmy explained about the little mix-up at the bus station and what happened on the court today with Todd and Modem. Freddie, I will personally be submitting a written affidavit outlining your exemplary efforts and achievements. I know the juvenile board will wholeheartedly approve of it. Congratulations. Thanks. And as for you, young fella, illegal gambling, racketeering, and extortion will be taking you offline for quite a while. Now you boys go with Miss Sykes. Well, I think that takes care of everything. Bye-bye. We'll see you later, kid. Freddy, whoever you are, I don't care if you don't have a dime. Good, because I don't. <laughs> Look, your dad's not going to kick me out of the house when I visit, Willie. It's not him you have to worry about. But if he's anything like his daughter, he'll see what a great guy you are. What are you going to do now? Well, Miss Sykes offered me a job at the camp. Honestly? Would I lie? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's going to work it out with the juvenile hall people as soon as they approve of my foster parent, that is. Miss Sykes is going to adopt you? Not her, Jimmy. Somebody's got to keep the man on his toes. I'm going to miss you so much. I have to go. Ha, ha, ha.